Hi, Karen from ediblewildfood.com here. And I have a photo line up here waiting to show you. And this is the result of a request I had from an incredible individual. Thank you, Wayne in Arkansas. He has been a great supporter of me for many years. And I am very thankful to you, Wayne. He was watching my video on South Thistle the other day and suggested that I do something that can show people the difference between wild lettuce and South Thistle. Great suggestion, Wayne. This is for you. Here is the South Thistle. Although not open, the flower when it is open is definitely a look-alike for dandelion. Several flower heads. And a long, smooth stem. Leaves are clasped around the stem. And let's look at the midrib. The midrib is that line you're looking at right now that is on the under part of the leaf. It is smooth. It has absolutely no spines. That right there is a definite telltale sign if the plant hasn't developed flowers yet. You're gonna look at this, the midrib. And if there are no spines, you definitely know it is sow thistle. Whereas wild lettuces, let's take a look at that midrib. And you've got spines. The flower heads have a different structure. The stem is smooth as well. And when those flowers do open, they are yellow, but they're also much smaller. Actually, there's one here, but it closed up. But they're definitely much smaller than the South Thistle flower. And like the South Thistle, those leaves clasp right around the stem. Now, let's take a look at these leaves side by side. Well, oh, I'm going to have to move it. The sun has... Let's see. Just take a look at the shapes of those right there. On the left is wild lettuce. On the right, south thistle. So you can see that each of these are lobed differently. And, let's see, we might need the sun for here. There we go. There's a close-up of the leaf of the south thistle. And the wild lettuce. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. However, as you can see, once they are side by side, they definitely have a different shape. The leaf shape, the midrib, and the stems. When you cut the stem, South Thistle is hollow and the wild lettuce is not hollow. Those are your telltale signs of how to tell the difference between the two species. But now we need to talk about the wild lettuce. I'm gonna sit down here for a second. Wild lettuces have been fodder for clickbait all over the internet ever since someone somewhere did some research and found out that the latex in the wild lettuces have lactocarium and lactucin. 
These are compounds that are found in the latex. They're slightly analgesic and sedating, which also, by the way, the South Thistle does have some latex as well, but it does not have these compounds. As for the wild lettuce, which wild lettuce do you have? The one you're looking at is Lactuca seriola, which is native to Europe and Asia, and it's called prickly lettuce. This is a lettuce that is widespread throughout North America. We also have some native Lactuca species here in Canada and the United States. Lactuca canadensis, which is the Canada lettuce. Lactuca biennis, which is the tall. Actually, I think they do call it the tall lettuce. And the tall lettuce has blue flowers. Lactuca canadensis is also very tall. Those two species are at least, I would say, 12 inches to 30 centimeters taller than Lactuca seriola, the prickly lettuce that you're looking at right here. So those are differences in those. Now, those three species that I've mentioned, yes, they do have some of those compounds in the latex, but not at the same rate as Lactuca verosa. This is a plant, Lactuca verosa is native to Asia and parts of Europe. It was introduced to California and Alabama. According to the USDA maps, that seems to be the only place where it grows, but not to say that somebody has taken the seeds and it is growing in other areas of the United States and Canada. Lactuca verosa, which is also called bitter lettuce, has lots more of those latex compounds that uh, are analgesic analgesic and sedating but you should always always do your research on these before you even think about taking them for uh, taking this latex for any reason whatsoever if you're on prescription medication or over the counter you can have some serious contraindications and th that's not going to be a good thing one of the uh, side effects definitely is drowsiness that can cause you to pass out that's not going to be good if you're driving a car or if you're on the job. And worse, there are cases of cardiac paralysis from people just going a little bit too crazy, thinking that they can help themselves. They've taken too much and they've caused harm to themselves. So never, never uh, believe some of these blogs that are out there. In my opinion, many of them are nothing more than clickbait. So they get views. So there you go. Here we have the difference between wild lettuce and sow thistle. And Wayne, to you, thank you so much for suggesting this as a video. But I'm not going to end it here. I'm going to take you out into the fields right now so you can see what these two look like in their natural environment. Okay, so if you were with me right now and you're looking at this, what do you think you're looking at? Let's get a little closer and a little closer. Let's check this out. And what does that tell you right there? It tells you my camera's not focusing. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. That is where the flowers will open up from. And that flower head is definitely south thistle. So we have a lot of south thistle here, a lot of new growth. This would be wonderful to work with in the kitchen. And as one more for sure tip on identification, check out that midrib. That midrib is smooth, no spines. So there we go. This one is sow thistle. And finally, here is what wild lettuce looks like when you're coming at it. 
Make sure you check out those mid ribs and yep, there are spines there. So you now know for sure this is wild lettuce and definitely because of the flower heads. And there's lots here. However, this is certainly not wild lettuce that I would want to forage. This area is high traffic for dogs. There we go. Wild lettuce. And so thistle. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you for all your support. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell that goes along with it to get notification of future videos. And thank you Wayne for suggesting this idea.